so today we have to discuss how would the images be formed uh, when you place objects in front of concave mirrors how would the images be formed when you place uh, objects in front of concave mirrors uh, this is what we simply do with these concave mirrors uh, we basically take a concave mirror okay we basically take a concave mirror and then uh, as you can remember right now you have to be very careful and follow the instructions when you are drawing these ray diagrams otherwise you will go wrong with these ray diagrams and you will not be able to find out the features of the images form right so if you can remember in, uh, when you have a concave mirror uh, right at the point call pole there will be a line going like this and we call it as the principal axis if you can remember right and then the next thing is if you can remember uh, from this uh, pole at a particular distance there is a point called f imagine the distance from here to the f is 2 cm in your book okay i'm telling you so when you draw this uh, concave mirror at the very middle point that's called the pole of this curvature of the concave mirror this is called the pole so if you can remember from this pole there was a line going through right so this line was called principal axis and uh, there was a point called f the focus point on the principal axis it was a point on the principal axis we call it as uh, the pole okay so now in your book if you consider the distance the length between the focus point and the pole is 2 cm the distance from the focal point the uh, focus to the center of curvature center of curvature or the 2f has to be also 2 cm so this has to be taken accurately otherwise you will go wrong with this ray diagram keep it strictly in your mind so if the length so we basically call this length as the focal length right the length from the pole of the concave mirror to the uh, point focus the length is considered to be the focal length so if you consider the focal length to be 2 cm you should remember twice at the length of this focal length you would find the center of curvature of this uh, curved mirror surface from which it was observed obtained and there was a sphere of that only you obtained this curved mirror surface called concave mirror surface uh, the center of curvature of that sphere to which this uh, curved mirror surface belong is called the center of curvature so uh, at c is located at twice the length of focal length at the twice at the twice the distance of focal length right it can from the pole Two uh, centimeters give up water ham in a focus point. Okay, it will end up two centimeters give up water ham in a center of curvature of the concave mirror surface. I am talking about two f k. Okay, that means metal in the lam a center of curvature of the length of a four centimeters. Uh, okay, so what me curvature of me curvature can be that in four centimeters diam radius second. There. Right, me sphere ka gatto, me sphere ka jati ni me himai metal la metal gatti ni four centimeters. Right, so four centimeters radius ka karan na thamma apni concave mirror surface se ka build up kala the. So then what you have to strictly follow this two, right? Ekhane mere me ka mara strictly follow up karan no na netang very awkward ni karan. Right, the distance from the pole, that that distance from the surface of the concave mirror, distance from the surface of the concave mirror to the Uh, focus point. Uh, if you consider it to be two centimeters, I'm asking you to consider it to be two centimeters. That's better than so you can uh, easily draw the ray diagram. Metal la metal, it's a four centimeters when done. So what do we simply do here? Hold on for a while. Okay. So what do we do here? Simply me. So we take a convex concave mirror. We take a concave mirror and then uh, uh, on the principal axis, what do we do? On the on the principal axis, we keep the object on different places. Like we keep the object in between the focal point and the mirror first, and then how we see how would the light rays would go to the concave mirror and gets reflected, and how would the image be formed? Here, basta pa mi object taka ganon onto F, and then again we draw the ray diagram for the reflection of this light from a concave mirror, and then we see how the image is formed. Here, basta pa mi object taka I ganon pasta ka. And uh, we see again. We consider again the how would again how would the light rays will uh, reach the concave mirror and gets reflected and forms the image. And we consider the features also. So that what we simply do. Abhi mukhya dekharan ne. We keep the object at different places on the principal axis, and we see how would the light rays reach the concave mirror surface. 
from the object and then how the light rays would get uh, reflected and the image is formed. Uh, so then the image will have different features depending on the place where we keep the object. So we have to consider for all of those uh, features of the object, so features of the image, uh, how do we recognize those features? That's very simple. If you draw the ray diagram properly, by reading just the ray diagram, you can uh, uh, get an idea about all the features of the image form, right? So before that, uh, we have to follow up few things, right? A few instructions uh, other than what I just said. So you just want to read it. Upe, can you read it for me, please? Yeah, here. Okay, so uh, rays coming along the principal axis return along the principal axis after reflection. Okay, so I hope you can. Oh, 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 oh. I hope you can remember that, right? I hope you can remember that. If there was a, if there was any ray coming towards the concave mirror surface through the principal axis, if you can remember this principal axis touches the mirror. Now, if it was the center of curvature, uh, if you draw the whole sphere, uh, you know, if you uh, draw the whole sphere, okay, you know, uh, if you draw the whole sphere, right, from this concave mirror was obtained, you know, if I draw a line from the center of curvature, the circumference of this mirror, you mathematically call it as the radius. Okay. And this is also is, is the radius. So as you know, the radius uh, incidence radius touches the circumference with a perpendicular that I've taught you in the last day. Right. So do this line called principal axis touches the curved mirror surface. It is just a part of your whole sphere. So that mirror surface also would be touched by this main line like a principal axis again touch currently with a perpendicular, if you can remember. Perpendicular So the next thing is oh gosh. Right. Next thing is just give me a second, Lama. Okay. So next thing is, uh, light ray out, right? If there was a light ray uh, uh, incident on the plane mirror through principal axis, mehima light ray out. If you can remember, uh, the incident ray is this, right? So this is the point of incident where the light ray uh, strikes on the mirror surface, right? Hinang api isalama then construction ka karano no normal kela, right? incident angle reflected angle idea So what do I do from the starting from the point of incident? Mama construction normal Okay. So from the starting from the point of incidence, normal like a constructor normal like a perpendicular in the mirror surface. Then one have a normal like a constructor, my normal is constructed on top of the principal axis. It's about where the matter a plane mirror reflection. The plane mirror may be light ray angular yaw, make up my point of incidence. Where the current point of incidence again, the normal constructor. Where normal like a yagana mirror surface are perpendicular. Okay, that right. It's the angle between the normal and the incident ray is called the incident angle. Where angle is equal when reflected angle. Angle between the reflected ray and the incident, uh, re reflected ray and the normal is called the reflected angle. Then, meter of the current by even the laws of reflection, the angle of incidence has to be equal to the angle of reflection. Angle of incidence has to be equal to the angle of reflection. You can have a new reflection of the kill, the laws of reflection. So, meter of the current in the incident ray in the principal axis. You know that incidence on the mirror surface curve, even with the curved mirror surface perpendicularly. So, quickly you to find out the incident angle, you draw the uh, principal axis. Sorry, normal. How do you construct the normal? You have to start it from the point of incidence. Method of my light ray kind of incident ray. You have to perpendicular way in the mirror surface. You have to normal to construct. So ultimately what I observe here is, you have to normal to construct the principal axis. So now can you understand? There is no, the method of my incident ray kind of normal to construct the angle. So what is here? Incident ray kind of available in the principal axis. Normal to construct the principal axis. The principal axis. There is no any angle between the incident Ray and the normal. A deca maker eka line again. Incident ray udamatamai or normal like a constructor. So there's no angle between the incident ray and the normal. There's no angle, zero. 
Again, according to the laws of reflection, incident angle is to is to be equal with the uh, reflected angle. Incident angle should be equal with the reflected angle. So, the incident angle, the incident angle is zero. Here, the reflected angle also should be zero. Here, this light ray should go back on the same pathway. It should get reflected back along the same pathway. I taught you this thing last day also. So, keep it in your mind. Incident ray goes through the principal axis where mirror, light incident ray, incident ray, mirror surface perpendicularly. That means we are normally constructed from normally constructed at principal axis. Then there's no normal incident ray. So there's no any angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray. You know, uh, incident angle like zero, na, reflected angle like zero. Na, so then the light ray should get reflected back along the same pathway. You know, light ray ka principal axis reflect back. Pe, no, na. Uh, is it clear to you? I taught you this on the last day also. So I just wanted to remind it again. Is it clear to you now? Mima, yes. Mima, was it clear? Shanuki, was it clear to you? Eli, Upe, yes, Nirmani, was it clear to you? Nirmani, was it clear to you? Right. Upe, was it clear to you? Hello, Upeka, are you there? Upeka, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sorry. The Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi turned off. Right. Is it clear to you? The thing what I explained? Were you there? Yes, sir. Then? Okay, right. Uh, Ellie, was it clear to you? Elisha, are you there with us? Shanuki, I don't think that she's here. Oh, oh, she might have a problem. Elisha, if you have a... She sent a message. Um, I think... So she can hear you. I think there's ah, a problem, no problem with your mind. Yeah, yeah. Then no problem. Right, okay. She can hear us, no problem. All right. So that's it what we wanted to discuss. So then uh, next, next point, okay, you need to read it. So if there was a light ray coming to the concave mirror surface uh, along... Uh, through the principal axis, the light ray should get reflected back along the same pathway. Okay, you pay next part. A ray traveling parallel to the principal axis passes through a focal point after reflection. Yeah, that we discuss. That we discuss again. Okay, on the last day, can you remember? <laughs> uh, if there was this uh, principal axis, may principal axis get a parallel light ray? What would happen to this light ray? The light ray would get uh, reflected after striking on the mirror surface as a convergent light ray and it would it should travel uh, through focus that we discussed on the last day next part Upeka. 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 Uh -oh. Upeka, can you read it? Yes, I'm here. Sorry, the Wi Fi. Uh, a ray that passes through the center of curvature of the mirror is reflected back along its own path. Okay, the next thing, very last thing. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah. So if you could remember this principal axis, if you could remember this principal axis, there was this point called focus and there was this point called 2F, which was called the center of curvature. Then I would go to Matakani, if I draw this mirror, if I draw this uh, whole uh, sphere, may 2F net on center of curvature in the light ray of Iraq and that is called as the radius. radius what if there was a light ray? That may up a concave ray, that may concave ray, concave ray, that may up a concave ray. Okay. What if there was a light ray reaching the concave mirror through this? And this, this is the way. And may may have a light ray of your light ray. What if there was a light ray reaching the concave mirror surface through this 2F, through this center of curvature? If we are making a maximum link and a radius, then we are making a touch when the principal axis is perpendicular. Sorry, mirror surface is perpendicular. 
దే మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ నార్మల్ లెక్క కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ ఓకే యు విల్ హావ్ టు కన్స్ట్రక్ట్ ద నార్మల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే ఏదో ఇన్సిడెంట్ రే గోస్ ఆన్ ద నార్మల్ ఏనా మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సిడెంట్ యాంగిల్ లెక్క జీరో ఐ నార్మల్ లెక్క ఇన్సిడెంట్ రే కై దేకవే కై ఏనా మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ రిఫ్లెక్టెడ్ యాంగిల్ లెక్క జీరో ఏనా మీ గియపు పార్ద గేమ తమై లైట్ రే కై ఇఫెక్ట్ బ్యాక్ పెన్ నో రైట్ so the next thing what you have to understand here if there was a light ray traveling towards the concave mirror if there was a light ray traveling towards the concave mirror if there was a light ray traveling towards the concave mirror through the center of curvature through the center of curvature still the light ray would incident with the concave mirror surface uh, with perpendicularly etakota normal ekka construct starting from the point of incidence normal ekka construct peni wage incident ray ko the so then there will be no angle between the incident ray and the constructor normal that means the angle of incidence is zero so then the angle of reflection also has to be zero so then the light ray would get reflected back reflected back along the same path uh, hope you hope is it clear to you been said teruna dekha bimay ka teruna right okay <laughs> right chanakya was it clear to you yes sir, it was clear okay right uh, upay next part <coughs> drawing ray diagrams for images formed by concave mirrors the image of a point object placed in front of a mirror is formed at a point where two or more light rays intersect okay okay so if you keep an object in front of a plane mirror we are not going to keep any big giant object we are going to place a, a point object here as well like we place the point object in front of a point object in front of a plane mirror the same thing is done here uh, so you have to consider two light rays okay now see here you have to consider two light rays reaching the uh, concave mirror surface from this uh, object then mama is like you are going to place an object over here and then you have to consider light interception of two light rays reaching the mirror then object එකේ ඉඳලා mirror surface එකේ වැඩිලා reflect වෙන light rays දෙකක් intercept වෙන තරම හොයා ගන්න ඕන that's how you create the image here so what would you be doing you would be considering two light rays coming from the object towards the concave mirror and the place where the two reflected rays of those incident rays get get uh, like intercepted gets uh, meets together that's the place where the image is formed මේ ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එකේ ඉඳලා කොන්කේ මිරේකට යන ලයිට් රේස් දෙකක් රිෆ්ලෙක්ට් වුණාට පස්සේ මීට් වෙන පොයින්ට් එකක් වෙනවා දැට්ස් ද ප්ලේස් වෙයර් ද ඉමේජ් ඉස් ෆෝම් නොට් ඔන්ලි ටු දෙ විල් බි මෙනි ලයිට් රේස් රීකින් ද කොන්කේ මිර සර්ෆස් ඇන්ඩ් ගෙටින් රිෆ්ලෙක්ටඩ් බට් වෙ නොට් ගෝයින් ටු කන්සිඩර් අබවුට් ඕල් ඔෆ් දෝස් ලයිට් රේස් බිකෝස් ඔන්ලි ෆෝ ඔන්ලි කන්සිඩරින් ටු ලයිට් රේස් රිෆ්ලෙක්ෂන් ඔෆ් ටු ලයිට් රේස් ෆ්‍රෝම් ද ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් ඉස් මෝර් දැන් ඉනෆ් ෆෝර් අස් ටු ක්‍රියේට් ද ඉමේජ් ඇන්ඩ් යු වොන්ට් ටු ගෙට් ද ෆීචර්ස් ඔෆ් දිස් ඉමේජ් ෆෝම් and the next thing is we we follow up a tricky thing here api hama vele now if you can remember a principal axis ekak indala object principal axis ekak indala mirror surface ekak dena light ray ekak reflect wenne principal axis ekak digema thamai if you can remember <coughs> principal axis ekak indala indala light ray ekak mirror surface ekak reflect wenne principal axis ekak indala thamai e hinda api mokada karanne meke di ऑब्जेक्ट के बॉटम में के भी प्लेस ऑन द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस ऑल द टाइम वेयर एवर वी मूव द ऑब्जेक्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द प्लेन मिरर वी वी कंफर्म आवरसेल्स टू कीप वी इंश्योर आवरसेल्स टू कीप द बॉटम ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस इतकोटा ऑब्जेक्ट के बॉटम में के इंदर इन लाइट रेस मिरर एक टाइम में थ्रू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस एना ए लाइट रेस रिफ्लेक्ट वेने प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस के थ्रू में थमा एहेना हेदेना इमेज के बॉटम में का अनिवार्य प्लेस वेने प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस के Right. So, what do we do? We we do a tricky thing here. What do we do? We always place the bottom of the object on the principal axis. So, from the bottom of the object, the light rays would be reaching the concave mirror through the principal axis. Here, now light rays I will reflect from the principal axis again. Here, now had the image again. Okay? Had the image again. Okay? Bottom, the bottom of the form, the image here will be created on the principal axis all the time, all the time, right? so then we have to, we do not want actually we don't we do not want to worry about the light rays coming from the object from its bottom right we don't have to worry about the light rays coming to the concave mirror from the bottom of the object 
because those light rays obviously coming through the principal axis and getting reflected along the same pathway. So then the bottom of the object will be every time placed on the principal axis. Don't worry about it. What you have to worry here is about two light rays reaching the concave mirror from the object's head, top of the object. Object ke top pe ke the mirror surface ke reach karan light rays dega gana tamai wa consider karan. A light rays dega reflect pen ne koi da, a dega meet pen ne koi da, ita tamai image ke hadai ne. And the bottom of the image will be every time placed on the principal axis. Was it clear to you? When we are drawing the ray diagrams, you will understand it better. Keep it in your mind that tricky thing what we use here, principal axis ke dega object ke bottom me ke tiya ne. And the object ke bottom me ke dega light rays dega every time in the principal axis ke through and then gets reflect back along the same path. So then every time the object's image, bottom of the image will be placed on the principal axis. Up we worry when we consider about two light rays reaching the mirror surface from the top of the object and how would they get reflected and meet at a point. That's what the thing what we have to consider here. Are we clear with that, guys? Yes, sir. Right. Uh, Shanoki, was it clear? Clear, eh? Are clear, eh? Eli, was it clear to you? Yes, Please sir. give a thumbs up. Right, okay. Great. <coughs> Elisha? Give us a give a thumbs up at least. Did you get it? If you get it, how is it? Elite katha karna right okay. Bima hari nee the mali. Yes. Right. Upe uh, hari the. Yes sir. Upe, I want to read it. Okay sir. Read it. Okka bhi kya? Ah okay sir. To find the position of the image, it is necessary to consider rays coming from the top and the bottom of the object separate. If the bottom of the object is situated on the principal axis, all the rays coming from the bottom travel along the principal axis. Therefore, the image of the bottom of the object is formed on the principal axis. The image of a vertical object is located on the principal axis is formed on the principal axis. Okay. To draw to draw the image of an object it is which is placed vertically on the principal axis it is sufficient to draw the rays which are coming from the top of the object okay that's very important if you only consider the light rays which are coming to the concave mirror from the top of the object you would be able to draw the image right because you don't want to worry about the uh, light rays coming from the bottom of the object as it is placed on the principal axis right next part for this, any two light rays can be used. The mm -hmm. image of the top of the object is the point of intersection of two of these light rays. A diagram can be used <coughs> to find the nature of the image formed when the object, when an object is placed at different distances from the mirror. Okay, right. Right, okay. So then the light rays could be used to talk about or to understand about the features of the images formed, right? So drawing the ray diagram properly will help you to recognize the features of the images. Clear, very clear, right? Okay. So the first situation, uh, right? Tell me what, what are we going to do? Upe, read it. Where are we going to place the object? When the object is in between the mirror and the focal point. Right. So you're going to place the object in between the mirror and the focal point. Okay. So hold on. You're going to place the object in front of the mirror and the focal point of the mirror. So you have the concave mirror here and you have the principal axis, right? Uh, you have to be very careful. You have to start. Uh, you have to uh, draw the principal axis starting from the point called pole pole has to be the exact center of this curved surface okay so the length from here to the focal point we consider it to be f we consider let's consider it to be two centimeters so from distance from the focal point to the two f is also again two centimeters that's called c or two f may value sorry again otherwise the radar will phone come up Comma, right? Better than the distance like two meters, two centimeters. Now, better than the distance like two centimeters. Take it the exact value. Right? Okay. okay. So, what are we going to do? I'm going to place the object in front of the concave mirror in between what and what? In between the convex concave mirror and the focal point of the concave mirror. Right. This is what I do. Right. The next thing, uh, I have to extend the uh, principal axis under this direction. So, then I have to consider the light rays. How would they go? Right. So, as you know, <coughs> 
principal axis ke idhar ala in a right ne yaake ne light ray coming from the principal axis from the bottom of the object would come and go along the same path so we are going to draw the ray diagrams which are coming to the concave mirror from the top of the object right see here right so one light ray now see here very carefully i am using blue pen to indicate the incident rays i am uh, using red pen to indicate the reflected rays right from this object from the top of the object there is one light ray reaching the concave mirror surface like this that is reaching the concave mirror surface parallel to the principal axis as you can see here so you know what would happen to this light ray that should get reflected through the focal point okay so what really happened from the top of the object there was one light ray uh, incident on the plane mirror it came to the sorry incident on the concave mirror it came to the concave mirror parallel to the principal axis so this light ray should get reflected through the focal point that the next thing the next light ray the next light ray from the top of the object reaches the mirror then the next light ray from the top of the object reaches the mirror like this okay like what as it is coming through focal point uh, sorry as it is coming through a center of curvature like this it actually does not come from the center of curvature it does not come through the center of curvature la my object ke ne light rays should reach the concave mirror etoda metana thimba object ke ek light ray ka object ke top pe ke inala principal axis ekata parallelly light uh, concave mirror ekata reach kara this light ray from the top of the object reach the concave mirror parallel to the principal axis they are reflect today through the focal point and this second light ray it's not actually coming through the center of it's not it's not actually coming through the center of curvature but this light ray from the object goes to the surface of the concave mirror it go it, from the top of the object this light ray goes to the concave mirror as it was coming through the center of curvature so what do we have to consider here this angle उलरली so from the object from the object there was this light ray reaching the concave mirror surface that's an incident ray so i mark this arrow incident ray ka kela pen nanda and that light ray reached the concave mirror surface as it was coming through the center of it was not really coming through but a angle like in my concave mirror surface reach kare so then you would definitely know that light ray would have touched the concave mirror surface perpendicularly that's all what you want to know ena me light ray ka if it touch the concave mirror surface perpendicularly why light ray ka reflect pen nattu no e mark ray ka thamai now this reflected light ray it definitely goes through this mega then reflected light ray ka yanda e pai ya patta da thaba incident ray ka me hen yenne ne ani mokada me hen object ka me ne object ka metra ne object ka from the object the incident ray reach the concave mirror ye mona wage angle ekin as this incident ray was coming through focal point atram focal point sorry, through center of curvature atram center of curvature through ave ne but it it seemed to be coming from the center of curvature ehema avana how the angle that it was touching the curve mirror was perpendicular ga ehena the light ray should get reflected back along the same path ah then the reflected light ray object ka pass karana center of curvature through yanawa thamai and then with the object ka light rays reaches the mirror and gets reflected onto this and then from here we are looking at the object right and these two light rays could be extended and these two light rays would be meeting at a point somewhere over here <coughs> on the principal axis man kiyone principal axis ekata mai image ek image ek bottom ek hama desa ekama දැන් ඔයා මොකද කරේ this two light rays you are to keep the rule and do the extensions mama wage karanne pa endawenda bahama ewa the two light rays 
should get uh, uh, extended, should meet at a point somewhere here, right? Should They should be meeting at a point somewhere here. And the bottom of the object should be placed on the principal axis. So this is the image. This is the image. This was object, obviously, right? We knew it. Uh, we kept the object in front of the concave mirror in between the uh, in between the mirror and the focal point. In between the mirror and the focal point. Then what happened? One light ray, one light ray from the object reached the concave mirror surface perpendicular parallel to the principal axis. And that light ray got reflected through the focal point. Second light ray from the top of the object, it reached the concave mirror surface as it was coming through the focal point. It was not really coming through the focus. Sorry, as it was coming through the center of curvature. It was not really coming through the center of curvature, but it had an angle that it was coming through the con uh, center of curvature. If this light ray was coming through the center of curvature, it should reach the concave mirror surface perpendicularly. It should get reflected back along the same party. And this reflected light ray actually goes through the center of curvature. So light rays are reflecting into this side. This is the place where we're looking at the uh, reflected rays. So the place where the two light uh, two uh, light rays, uh, reflected light rays, or this uh, two light rays uh, gets extended and meeting, will be the place uh, where the image is formed. Now shall we talk about shall we talk about the features of this image, right? Now tell me is this uh, is this image real or virtual? So now we have drawn the ray diagrams and we can read the ray diagrams, read the ray diagram to get the uh, idea of the features of the image. All right, so then we can uh, read it to get the uh, idea of the uh, image, uh, features of the image, to get the idea of the features of the image, right? So now tell me, Namai, then may image, is it formed inside the concave mirror or outside the concave mirror? I, I need you to talk, talk to me. Is this image formed inside the concave mirror or outside the concave mirror? Bima, what do you Inside. Inside. Eta kota mama. Mata me. If I observe this object, sorry. If I if I look into this concave mirror through the object only, I would see the image. If I observe or if I look into this mirror through this object only, I would see the image inside the plane, inside the concave mirror. Like in the plane mirror, api plane mirror our image is formed inside the plane mirror. You can't take it out, you can't focus into a screen, right? So until you look at the look at yourself inside the plane mirror, you would see yourself as the image, right? Till you look at the object through the plane, through the concave mirror, you would see the image. Until you uh, until you look at the object through the concave mirror, you would see the image inside the concave mirror. You never can take the image into another screen. So this image is a virtual image. It's a virtual image, right? Virtual image. You can't take it onto another screen. It's a virtual image, right? Perfect. So then uh, Shanuki tell me, uh, about the orientation of the image. What can you say about the orientation? Um, so that means like... Upright in or inverted? I think so because it's seen from the inside. It's... Uh... No, no, no. Consider the orientation. Do, does this image has the same orientation as the object? Yeah, right, sir. Yeah, yeah. So the arrow is uh, upright here. So this uh, image is also upright here. So it's the yes. same orientation. That means it's a it's what sort of an image? It's upright image. Upright image. Okay. So then uh, tell me, uh, Shanuki, about the size of this image. This is the object and this is the formed image. What can you say about the size of the, the image? image? The image is larger than... Larger. You call it technically magnified. Okay, magnified image. Magnified image. Okay, perfect. Magnified image. Right. So then now tell me about the position of the image. Is it placed outside or inside? Outside, sir. Uh-uh. Oh, this no. is the outside. Uh, uh, okay. Inside, sir. Image formed inside the concave mirror. 
So, sir, um, huh? <laughs> there, there is a specific name for that, right? Or else we... No, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, we just say that the procedure on the image, right? And if it is formed inside the mirror, most of the time it's a virtual image. You can't take it onto another screen because may patta we can't touch, no? Because we can't take any paper. May patta we can't touch, no? Like it's it, the mirror, we, we are looking at. You are not taking any use of this side. So you can't, even though you take a piece of paper behind the mirror, a image is covered out paper. That will be always inside the mirror, uh, concave, right? So you yeah. call that sort of an image as virtual image. Now, what you can say me, Upe, uh, sorry, uh, Shanuki, about the object distance and the image distance. Can you remember? Distance from the object to the mirror is called the object distance, and the distance from the image to the mirror is called as the image distance. What mm -hmm. you can say about that? So, the image distance is much larger because the yeah. object distance is yes. like the Image distance is greater than the object distance. Very true. Right. Image distance is greater than the object distance. Right. You can draw the diagram and diagram. Uh, Note down the this thing also. Note down the images also. Sorry, sorry, features also. Hey, you have to be very accurate when drawing the ray diagram. Up. Be, be, please be careful if you do not understand anything. Please ask. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. So from the object distance, uh, there is like two centimeters. No. Yeah. Nope. That, no. 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 The distance the, from this point to this point, focal length is two centimeters. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. So, so now you have that? kept the object in between the focal point and the mirror. Yeah. So what hmm. about the image and the concave mirror? It's an what's the distance? No, yeah. we don't. We don't measure it. Uh -huh. We don't measure it, but we we can see now that it's different, like the object. The object distance is the distance from the object yeah. to the mirror. That's much uh, shorter than the image distance. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'll take a picture for you. Otherwise, you will not be done. Okay.
here a uh, user ruler and always use a ruler and then the next thing is a uh, what do you call a uh, user pencil just only indicate the uh, what do you call lines with red and blue again okay, arrows with red and blue do i have indicated the total lines with red and blue don't do that uh, just draw it with a pencil and then uh, indicate the incident trace with the uh, blue arrows and the reflected ray is traced with red arrow so then you can identify recognize clearly what uh, incident rays and reflected rays are excuse me sir So uh, I have a little question. Yeah, so yeah. In, the, in the paper, so how do they like tell like uh, do they like tell you to draw the object like? Yeah, sometimes the they might they might ask you to uh, they they should they they sometimes can give you this diagram and then they might ask you to uh, write the pages of this image, or mm -hmm. else sometimes they would give this information. And then uh, they would ask you where would the image be, uh, where would the object be located in front of the concave mirror. Or else, like I have given it to you in the field, they might give you the place where you have to keep the object in front of the concave mirror. And they, they would ask you to draw the ray diagram and then go for the image, uh, features of the image as well. Okay, sir. Either way, they can ask you uh, questions. Okay, sir. Can I move to the next one? Yes, yeah, sir. What about the others? Upe, are you done? Bima Haridha Bhutam? Yes, sir. Bimsen, what about you? Bimsen? Yes, sir. Hari. Eli, what about you? Can I move? Elisha dropped. Okay. Right. The next one, uh, Upeka, read it for you where, where you have to keep the image object. When the object is on the focal point. Yeah. So you are placing the object now on the focal point. Right. We have to erase everything. Right. Now we have a, a concave mirror. Now what you should have been doing, uh, keeping the, ob uh, taking the object behind, right? So it was, uh, it was in between the focal point and the mirror. It was before in between the focal point and the mirror. Now you have taken it behind, right? Now you have taken it behind. So then the diagram stays the same. Huh? Still, the length from here to here will be two centimeters, and the length from here to here will be two centimeters. Keep that in your mind. Now, what I'm doing, I'm placing the object on 
f focal point to get in object okay still the same the very first ray diagram from the object reaches the concave mirror parallel to the principal axis right it reaches the concave mirror parallel to the principal axis then that ray gets reflected along the focal point it gets reflected it gets reflected through the focal point what happened the uh, first ray from the top of the object reached the concave mirror surface in parallel to the principal axis it got reflected along the uh, focal point the next ray see the next ray again the second ray tries to reach the concave mirror surface as it is coming through the principal axis as it is coming through the principal axis not that it, the ray really comes through the principal axis through the object onto the mirror object ke indala thamai mirror ekata keep it in your mind light ray ke yanne kohomada object ke indala mirror ekata object ke indala mirror ekata right this is the incident ray object ke indala mirror ekata okay object ke indala mirror ekata now if you observe how does it reach actually the surface of the mirror how does it reach the mirror surface ea yanne ea mirror surface ekata yanne as this light ray is coming through the center of curvature center of curvature ke indala ena wage thamai the light ray goes to the mirror okay so in this case in this case again if you see this center of curvature to the plane mirror uh, concave mirror me radius ekata ne this is radius concave mirror ekata yana center of curvature ke indala hena me right me line ekata you call it mathematically as radius so this light ray yanne concave mirror ekata object ke top ke indala uh to the concave mirror as it was coming through the center of curvature that means it's not actually coming through the center of curvature from the top of the object reaches the concave mirror it is that angle of incident of that angle while uh striking the concave mirror surface with a 90 degree that means a perpendicular you know this light ray should get reflected back along the same pathway and that light ray actually goes to this uh center of curvature because that is actually passing the object and going further so it reaches the concave mirror surface so we are looking at the object from here and as you can see you can't uh, as you can see here actually these two like they don't make it like mine agi kadiga ehita mira and the vela wage might be appearing sometimes ehema wenna beha yours has to be very straight with the help of ruler okay so here we know no it has to be very straight and if you see here the two light rays uh, can you see that the two light rays are parallel to each other these two light rays are parallel to each other which means these two light rays if you extend them they will never meet okay they will never meet if you extend them they will go on till to the infinity they will never meet so this time the image is not image is actually formed at the infinity okay so what you can see here image forms at infinity that means actually the when you see the object when you when you keep an object uh, in front of a concave mirror at focal point when you are looking through the object towards the concave mirror the image of the object is getting blurred why this image is now forming at infinity right so there will be no image formed actually uh, uh, somewhere near to you it formed at infinity so you can't talk about the features of an object image formed at infinity right so what simply happens if you keep the object at the focal point in front of a concave mirror actually the image becomes blurred right so that means because the image should be forming at the infinity right so you can't ever talk about the features of such an image which is formed at infinity so you're not going to talk about the features of the image we will just indicate that the image is formed at infinity are we guys clear so now we are going to place the object in between the focal point and the center of curvature which is 2f ta me ka thiyena meter length ka 2 cm and meter length has to be also 2 cm right okay so you're placing the object somewhere over here okay right uh, in between the center of curvature and the focal point from the object from the top of the object this light ray comes to the comes to the concave mirror through the principal uh, uh, parallel to the principal axis and that light ray gets reflected through 
of a uh, focal point right that was from the object the first light ray from the object reached a concave mirror parallel to the principal axis okay and that gets reflected through the focal point gets reflected through the focal point okay right that's it then the second light ray right second light ray see here we need to the concave mirror has to be more curved here the second light ray okay again reaches the concave mirror surface okay again reaches the concave mirror surface reaches the concave mirror surface sorry hold on reaches the concave mirror surface uh, like this okay as it was going to the concave mirror surface from the point through the point uh, through the point c okay all right so then uh, hold on object reaches the concave mirror surface from the object from the object from the object as it was as it was coming through the point c right then the object like a mirror surface like reach karanne me uh, object like a mirror surface like a reach karanne me light ray ka harita nikam me center of curvature through aava wage ृत्य Then now, at the center of curvature, curvature through. Yeah, no, I mean, this goes through the center of curvature. Yeah, no. And I make our mark. Then through center of curvature through. Yeah, no, I mean. That's what I mean. Focal point through. Up here, center of curvature through. Up here. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Because the light ray coming in, right? If I draw it once again, right? object ke top pe ke indra there's one light ray reaching to the concave mirror surface parallel to the principal axis ar reflect pe ne kohomada ar reflect pe no through the focal point na me hita ana digata me ana through the focal point oka rula thiyala oya andin the second light ray from the top of the object reaches the concave mirror surface mena me hema reach karana as this light ray was coming through the center of curvature center of curvature ke indra light ray ka अब मैं बगिया ना मिरर सरफेस से टच कराने पर पेंडिकुलर एंड ऑब्जेक्ट के टॉप पर की तरह दिस लाइट रे रीचेस द कॉन्केव मिरर सरफेस एज इट वाज कमिंग थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर सो इट शुड इंसिडेंट ऑन द कॉन्केव मिरर सरफेस परपेंडिकुलरली दैट मींस दिस लाइट रे शुड गेट रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक अलोंग द सेम पाथवे दिस लाइट रे इज रिफ्लेक्टेड थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर एंड इट मीट्स द रिफ्लेक्टेड रे फ्रॉम द रे थ्रू द कॉन रे थ्रू द फोकल पॉइंट The two, the place where these two light rays meet, the place where these two reflected rays are meeting, the image would be formed. This is where the image is formed. This, this is where the image is formed. Then, अभी दानो object के top पे किंग ये नहीं वाला reflected light rays तो मैं नहीं object के top पे किंग ये light rays reflected light ये ना वाला top में reflected rays देख meet पे ना तो है देने object के top पे क्या object के bottom में कितने हैं वैसे principal axis से कितने का touch चला So, if the if the light reflect the reflected light rays are coming from the top of the object, as this one gets reflected in this side, this one got reflected on this side. So, the two reflected light rays are obviously coming from the top of the object. So, if the two light reflected light rays are meeting here, the top of the object is here. As we know from the right beginning, object bottom mega place called the principal axis. So, the object bottom image of the bottom of the image also will be placed on the principal axis, right? So now we need to talk about the features of this uh, image form. Uh, Shanoki, tell me, is the image inside of the plane concave mirror or outside the concave mirror? Outside the concave. So if you now you are looking at the reflected rays, so you are always looking at the reflected rays. 
methane latama you are looking at the image so yeah. this is the eye so instead of this image if you place the white paper here does this image get focused on the paper no right sir why now when the uh, image is formed inside you can't yeah. place the paper and focus the image on to the screen because mirror ka piti masse mirror ka actually image ka denne mirror ka piti masse if you keep a paper you can't take the image which is inside the plane mirror onto the paper yes. right that image will be virtual thing that's not real but this image forms in between our eye and the object can you understand yeah it is in front of the image so what if you place a screen white screen here image ka kelima screen ne kudra focus pennadda focus venawa venawa so then the what sort of an image is that it's a real image screen ne kada ganna puluwan images walta api eda kiwa mona images kiyada real image can you remember right real yeah. real image so what what about the orientation of the object and the image is it the same or different it's different sir okay so uh, if it was same we uh, named it as uh, upright and what is it now chalo ki bala hai note the class de ga if it was opposite opposite the orientation only when hitaga na how do we call it how do you call it inserted image inverted nangi padi padi call it inverted image inverted image okay where so is the upright is upside down and this is no inverted. upside down up, up, upright is where object ka inna vidhiyata image ka edana nang upright uh huh proper orientation then object ka inna hari vidhiyata image ka always hit kade you call that it as inverted oh, image oh inverted okay sir. okay right now how about the position of the image Okay, size of the image. Size of the image. It's uh, well, it's large. Large. How do you call it? Yeah, it's larger. How do you call it? Magnified image. Magnified image. And the position of the image. Position. Uh, it's outside the mirror. Yeah. Is it is the image formed uh, at point C? No, sir. Beyond C, isn't it? Yeah, exactly beyond C. Image formed beyond C center of curvature. That means we call it as two F also. So outside no, the. No, sir. How do you write it? So you write image. Formed. Formed beyond C. That's it. Beyond, beyond, not beyond C. It's beyond C. Yeah. So. Beyond um, C is C. Can I make a point? Can I make a shadow? C point. Can I take a picture? Did you make a picture? Did you? Yeah. So. Oh. So that's why we call it as formed the beyond C, right? Uh, B. Uh, C. Can I center of the picture? We call it as two way false. So that means focal length. Did you take a picture? Did you take a picture? This is this is this is this distance is called focal length. If I get twice length, then it's focal length. Can you center of curve? Which thing? Can you see that? Yes, sir. Here, now it's C point. Can define it. It's not too simple. Left here, sir. Right? Yeah. So it's image formed at uh, image formed beyond beyond center C. of curve, which or else C or else uh, two F. Okay. Now, what what do you think about the object distance and the image distance? The image distance is, um, it's large, right? Large, large, yeah. Image distance is greater. Image distance is greater than the object distance. Can you get that? Was it clear to yes. you? Yes. Yeah. Right. Go for the diagram. Yeah. <coughs> We must shape the make it even other. Yes. प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस 
ஒன்லிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங்கிங
ළමයි ඔක අඳින්න තු ඉන්න එපා අඳින්න සර් ඉමේජ් එක දානවා නේක බලන්න අඳිනවා කියලා එහෙම ඉන්න එපා ළමයි හරිද ඊළඟට යන්න කට්ටිය
Am I Hari there? Hello. Am I? Can't team have another? Shanuki, have another? Yes. Right. Now, you are the one. Shanuki, you are the. Yes, it You know, it got wrong. So, so ah, I no problem. have to okay. rerun. Re okay. Beamsen, how did the video go? Sir, real images, human naigar pena. What are you Real images, human naigar pena. Pena, oh, yeah. Come images pena. Virtual image, human naigar pena. When is the thing in the virtual image, a head in the mehini. It was a virtual image, the hitana, mehini thunder beams and mehimata kitana. Charlie and the hang, a hitana. Mehima plain me like a tino. The hitana make a plain me like a image hitano. Then we are playing with a gila istra hitang in no. Hard the me playing with a tino, I make the istra gila hitang in no. Hard the way I'm meta in the plain with a diabaladi, we are giving me to play with a gather head no. At the need. Oh, have I? We are the hitter me playing with a me, we are playing with a me better than me. And the plain miracle in the me, I frame me and meet the look of him. I can't name him. Put to a rectangle like a kill hitter, vertical rectangle like a little plain miracle may side the ground. Hard. Gihila, we are playing, we are image of the 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 him and him and him and him then Matwater Tirum Karan known to me, virtual image Karan Rihard and him Hitano. No, Ekama the Karan, Ekarian, but Ekarian, you're a reflection again about that experience. I could have Karian. Harden, yeah, Hitana, but I'm here. What plain miracle is not a Gila Hitagato? Weata Weata Weagi image, Weata my object. Where are my object? Where are the image of plane A and A image of a plane where curved mirror is the half, if and to a man the object take a place, Kerabu Hammer. Where object took a true, where you may have, where object took a true mirror, the Abalang in the image had any mirror, Catherine, you mean, say, here, not image had any mirror, Kelly. Harder, it can be a high star, how the image has not make it. Again, okay, the image is a project. Image is a project. The other image has a catholic virtual liquor. The other one make a reflection in this image. A little project in a fair mother. It would have to mention within the screen of Athila, within the screen of the local white screen of Athila, where image of white screen of the other may put in the white screen of the other one. Image of the other one making it there. Metana Hatia Neto, Metra, look white screen. Screen negative of him, image of a focus curve and screen negative. May put in the bundle of screen negative. I thought it needs to be another. Our object take an image, I will lie later. Have a rapid calling situation, the level of object take an image of a thin alien, a mirror cathedral on my plate, pain. Aka Kohito had gun the mirror cathedral on the image of my gun. So that sort of an image is called a virtual image. May have a lead a project and a mirror can lead a project and a Venus screen make a focus for the kind of long images of the real image. Where they come a balan a hint up, say rather, you can away images, a ray diagrams. I had a note. What about the real image or virtual image? A Kadanora, ray diagrams ahead of a ray diagrams and extensions thing he let the other thing, rather, but the bottom of the ray diagram. Even a way. A radar reflection the head hour, 
Right, we have the principal axis, Mahimatino. Okay, principal axis, Mahimatino, Tibaba game. Right, uh, F is here, uh, two F is here. A can you go to my center of curve, checker? Then up a object, take up the place, current is center of curve, checker. Right, then kill him object, take a place, current center of curve, checker. Pass the market object. Center of curve which would have an object to place color. Right. Dam look at the wind, eh? Gonna make him case of wind, eh? Other than me object to get like a light ray, a kind of principal axis of parallel. Object to get like a light ray, a kind of principal axis of parallel. And this light ray gets reflected through the focal point. This light ray gets reflected through the focal point. Now, as you know, now I have to uh, teach you one thing. Right here, I have to teach you one thing. The light ray gets reflected through the focal point. Okay. All right. Right. Now, see here, I want to teach you something here. Balanga and Manga, Nikaman Hitana, Mehemati, you know, Arakapata, my principal axis, but this is the point where you have to learn something, right? We have principal axis, and this is called the point F. Okay. We are going to object to the What is the name of the object? light Can you see that? That light ray could easily go through the focal point. Can you see that? That light ray could easily go through the focal point. Can you see that? Now I want a response. May light ray and the focal point with Can you see that? No, yes, sir. yes. Have I, uh, if you take this object backwards, okay, I'm taking it far away, I'm taking it very far away, the same size of the object, I'm taking it too far. Then may object again the light ray a quicker angle. Or not? Do you think that it would go? Do you think that it would go through this point? No, sir. angle can it go through this focal point? Look, have I, I have a way, Mitra Indra, an object in a, in a light ray, I could send through this focal point. In order to do that, what I want to do, I want, I want to increase the height of this object. Mamme object take a height, take a good dark, increase karna, then walking in a light ray, there's a possibility to go through the focal point. Can you understand? Yes, sir. So can you all understand when you move away the object, there's a, the possible, the, the, the chance of the light rays going through the focal point loses. I object like a the light ray, light ray and angle, like it won't go through the focal point. Can you understand that point? Shanaki, did you understand what I explained? Yes. Beam say they there or not? The angle is I don't know what Again, angle like a podium of them or initial order. Aki, what are they run? I can Duran 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 Focal Principal Lai, Lemurayakai, uh, between an angle like a Adunotem meet an eye. But I would like to explain currently. On a thing up a principal axis, you know, principal axis came on meter a kill up point of marker in a focal point here. Object take a principal axis and a focal point at a good up long and anti in 
මේ ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එක ෆෝකල් පොයින්ට් එකට ගොඩක් ළඟ නම් තියෙන්නේ ඩෙෆිනිට්ලි මේ ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එකේ මේ ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එක ප්‍රින්සිප් ෆෝකල් පොයින්ට් එකට ගොඩක් ළඟ නම් තියෙන්නේ මේ හයිට් එක නේ මේ හයිට් එක තියෙද්දී ඔහොම ළඟ නම් තියෙන්නේ මේ ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එකේ ඉඳලා ඉඳලා ටොප් එකේ ඉඳලා ඉඳලා රයිට් එකක් ෆෝකල් පොයින්ට් එක ත්‍රූ එකේ ත්‍රූ යන්න ඔබ්වියස්ලි පුළුවන් හැබැයි what i did was මම මේක ගත්ත මා මේ හයිට් එකේම මම ගත්ත මේක මා රැත කියන්නේ ෆෝකල් පොයින්ට් එකේ මා රැත ගත්ත එතකොට මම කියන්නේ මෙතන ඇංගල් එක පොඩි වෙනවා කියලා නේද මෙන්න මෙහෙම ඇංගල් එකකින් ගියොත් කියලා නේද කියන්නේ ඔව් මෙහෙම ඇංගල් එකකින් ගියොත් මෙන්න මේ මීට් වෙන්නේ නැහැ නේද පුතේ මේ මම කියන්නේ එහෙමත් මීට් වෙන්න බැරි තරම් ඇතර ගිනිලා කියලා කියන්නේ මේ මිනිස්සු මම වාක්‍ය එකක් පිළිගන්නවා ඒ කියන්නේ මම කියන්නේ මෙතන ඇංගල් එක පොඩි කරලා ගියොත් එහෙම ඇංගල් එහෙම මීට් වෙන්නත් බැරි තරම් මම ඇතර අරගෙන තියෙනවා කියනවද මට ඒකයි කරන්න ඕනේ මෙතන ඒ කියන්නේ මෙතන යන්න පුළුවන් පොසිබල් චූටි මේ ඇංගල් එකකින් ගියත් අර අර විදිහට මීට් වෙන්නේ නැති තරම් මම ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එකේ පිටිපස්සට අරන්න තියෙන තේරුණාද ඔව් ආ එතකොට එන්නේ නැහැ නේද ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් එකේ ටොප් එකේ ඉඳලා මේ ෆෝකල් පොයින්ට් එක ත්‍රූ ලයිට් රේක නෑ අන්න මේ සිට්යුවේෂන් එක හැස් ඔකර්ඩ් හියර් දැට් සිට්යුවේෂන් හැස් ඔකර්ඩ් හියර් සෝ වාට් ඉස් ද වාට් ඉස් ද තින්ග් හැපනින් හියර් රයිට් අප් ටේකන් ඉට් බිහයින්ඩ් සෝ ෆා right ega yeah, sorry ah demma me ega man utaran giyala dena i've taken it behind on to 2f so the light ray from the top of the object reaches the con we con came mirror parallel to the principal axis and it goes to the focal point that is focal point the next light ray the next light ray object ke top pe ki indra light ray ekak wenawa me nami focal point ekak thu ilana object ke top pe ki indra light ray ekak wenawa focal point ekak thu okay object ke indra top pe top pe ki indra light ray ekak wenawa focal line ekak thu ඒ කියන්නේ ඉස්සල කලින් වේ ඩයග්‍රෑම් එකේ ඔපොසිට් එක. ද ලයිට් ෆස්ට් වේ ඩයග්‍රෑම් ෆස්ට් ලයිට් රේ වස් කමින් ටුවර්ඩ් ද කොන්කේව් මිරර් පැරලල් ටු ද ප්‍රින්සිපල් ඇක්සිස් සෝ ඉට් ගොට් රිෆ්ලෙක්ටඩ් ටු ද ප්‍රින්සිපල් ටු ද ෆෝකල් පොයින්ට්. නව් ද සෙකන්ඩ් ලයිට් රේ ෆ්‍රොම් ද ටොප් ඔෆ් ද ඔබ්ජෙක්ට් රීචස් ද කොන්කේව් මිරර් සර්ෆස් ටු ද ෆෝකල් පොයින්ට් ඇන්ඩ් ඉට් ගෙට්ස් රිෆ්ලෙක්ටඩ් පැරලල් ටු ද ප්‍රින්සිපල් ඇක්සිස්. නව් යු සී ද ටු ලයිට් රේස් ගෙට් ඉන්ටර්සෙප්ටඩ් සම්වෙර් ඕවර් හියර් ඇන්ඩ් දිස් ඉස් ද ප්ලේස් වෙයි වි ආර් ලුකින් ඇට යුවර් ඉමේජ් ඇන්ඩ් ද ඉමේජ් ඉස් ෆෝම් බිහයින්ඩ් ද So um, image is formed on 2f. Image is formed on 2f, right? What are you going to mean? Image is real than that. Real than that. Image is real. Orientation is formed on the image. May object, may image. Orientation is formed on the image. Inverted. Image is size. Same size. Same size. ऑब्जेक्ट same distance same ne object distance ga make the image distance ga make the same object distance and image distance is equal chanaka did you get that upay did you get that yes sir chanaka what about you yes sir i got it eli what about your your eli okay right go for it throw the dagger Hold on.
லமாய் விருது கைஸ் ஐ ஆல் டன் வித் தட் ஹலோ எஸ் எவ்ரிவன் டிவிஷன் நீங்க வருது right okay let's go for the next one uh, so the next one says that you have to keep the object uh, even beho- even behind uh, even beyond the center of curvature okay so the next one says you uh, like this so if you have the concave mirror surface like this okay concave mirror surface like this in the next case uh, you have to keep the image object so it's f i hope you're still managing 2 cm and 2 cm don't forget that so you are placing the object even behind uh, the center of curvature so the, in this case among our calling ugana pega useful vera right? right now from the object there is this light ray coming parallel to the principal axis from the object there's this light ray coming parallel to the principal axis and then it gets reflected through the focal point it gets reflected through the focal point okay so the next either the light ray has no capability so let's i shall i take it from farther for far further away like so over here right so then that would be a pretty much easy for you to understand right that light that object is further away very away right it's far away from the object so far away from the concave mirror surface so then that light ray uh, comes from the principal comes to the comes parallel to the principal axis uh, reaches the concave mirror surface and it gets reflected back uh, through the focal point okay but mm, second light ray uh, has no capability of going through this focal point so instead it goes through what it goes through 2f it goes to 2f it goes to center of curvature the second light ray from the top of the object goes to the center of curvature right center light second light ray from the top of the object goes to the center of curvature it it has to be a straight line am i be, be careful to do the straight line it goes to the center of curvature now imagine from the top of the object there's this light ray coming now that light ray actually coming from the top of the object to the center of curvature so that light ray if you can uh, remember uh, if any light ray comes to the concave mirror surface uh, through the center of curvature uh, that light ray would be uh, striking the mirror surface with a perpendicular with a 90 degree angle okay so then uh, obviously the light ray should get reflected back along the same pathway should get reflected back along the same pathway so what really happened over here Uh, there was this object kept uh, far behind the 2f center of curvature from the above the object there was like this light ray coming parallel to the principal axis and it got reflected through the uh, it got reflected through the focal point and the second light ray from the above the object uh, came uh, all the way uh, through this center of curvature and then it uh, incident on the concave mirror surface perpendicularly the light ray should be reflected back along the same pathway so the two places where now we are looking at the image we are looking at the image from somewhere here and the two places where the the place where the two uh, reflected rays this is a reflected ray and this also has to be a reflected ray a hey, light ray center of curvature through our angle path is reflected so the place where the two reflected rays meet is the place where the image is formed okay now uh, upeka can you tell me about the image is it a real image or a virtual image what do you think what do you think upeka what what do you think real mm. or virtual real real because it's it's uh, it can be projected on a screen right if you take a screen in front of the plane mirror like this the image would get focused on the screen it's a real image true real image okay uh, now can you tell me tell me about the orientation of the image so it's uh, inverted 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 true uh, and tell me about the size of the image smaller smaller if the image is smaller than the object you call it as a diminished image what is it what is it upeka 
I can't see that word. Diminished image. Hey, you, is it is it not clear? Diminished. Sorry, it's diminished. You call it as diminished, okay? Diminished image. Lamai me board deke liye nevo. Is it is it not clear to you all? Lamai. Upe, is it not clear to you? Shanuki, is it not clear to you what I write on the board? Mm. Yeah, it's it's clear, sir. Okay. So the word is diminished. Huh? The image is smaller than the object, so you call it as diminished. Okay. Uh, now uh, tell me the position of the image, Upe. Uh, so the image is uh, like in front. Image is formed in between what and what? Uh, the focal point and the uh, center of the curvature. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And what can you tell me about the image distance and the object distance? So the object distance is much further. Greater. Doesn't it? Object yes, distance sir. is greater than the image distance, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, perfect. Shanuki made it here, Nadir. Eli, was it clear to you? Bima, clear on the meeting. Bimson made it clear there. Right. Eli, made it clear there. Okay, go for that. Eli, okay, get it up, my dear. Eli, the room, not the amount of my party. Okay, Eli, should have made us a rare video. Eli, what is your word? But the next thing they say us to keep the object even far away. That means somewhere like at the infinity. Like now, just imagine if there was light rays coming to a concave mirror from the sun. Right? Can you understand? If there was light rays coming from uh, sun to the concave mirror, that you can consider it to be the light rays coming from the infinity. That's too far, right? The light rays are very far away. Uh, the light rays are reaching your concave mirror very far away. Uh, so you need to keep this object that at that much of a distance, right? So this time the object is very, very, very far away from the concave mirror. So we consider it to be coming from the infinity, right? So the light rays are coming, reaching the concave mirror from the infinity. That's what we believe. Okay. So imagine the object is kept very far. So uh, when you're placing the object, don't ever place it like uh, near to F4 to F, Ganda Pulvantarang at that, right? So keep it far away, like uh, somewhere, Vodak at that, right? Uh, so then from this object, there's light, one light ray. That means then, Vincent, like, like I told you, this object, uh, may object in air tunnel, there will be no light ray coming through this 2F also. Can you understand? That's what I want to uh, understand. That's what I want you to understand. Can you understand? Object has to be too far away in a way that there would be no light rays from the top of the object at least go through two F to the concave mirror. Did you get me, Bimshan? Uh, yeah. Right, okay. Eli, did you get that? Shanoki Terunada. Again, in that much object, like a patta, the object, like a top packing in a light, there are no way of going through center of curvature of the concave mirror. Can you understand? Hello, can you understand? Shanoki, was it clear to you? Upe? Yes, sir. Right. So then, there will be this light ray reaching the concave mirror surface parallel to this principal axis. 
and it has to be parallel eh wage ka wage naya wage gan deba this ruler and take it and this light ray is reflecting this light ray is reflecting through through the focal point this light ray is reflecting through the focal point and it is second light ray ka tenu e wage ma thamai right second light ray ken e to wage ma thamai from the top of the object ऑब्जेक्ट In a light ray, they come, but both the light rays coming from the object comes parallel to the principal axis, and they get reflected through the uh, focal point. Or a light ray, they get what I mean, intercepted. The reflected two light rays, and that's where the uh, image is formed. Or a image, like a screen, like a focus, like that, I mean, pull away. I mean, focal point here, that I mean, focus in. So screen, like a focus, like that, I mean, pull away. Right? Obviously, you can do that. So that image is a real image because you can focus it on another screen. Real image. And you have to know that that image is inverted. You can't see an image. I mean, a pain name of course, right? It's very small. So this image is uh, real, and the image is inverted. And the position of the image, image forms on focal point. Image forms at f focal point. And what you can tell about the image size? Image is extremely small, right? Image is extremely small. so i would write here image is very small image is very small and the next is object distance and the image distance this is the image distance the length from the focal point to the mirror focal length ka the image distance ka object distance is coming from the infinity so then you can write object distance object distance is very much greater than the image distance object distance is very much greater than the image distance okay this is what you do quickly go for it here go through this ray diagrams once again twice or thrice make uh, i it seems that it's not much comfortable for you all so you can make online karna hinda man danna like it seems for me that it's not much comfortable for you all again the please go through it once or twice again so then you would get exposed into it, uh, it again and again it's not very lazy you know please do that Done, Lamai. Are you all done? Elisha, you have a very bad connection today. Here, my dear. 
why is it concave mirrors are used as shaving mirrors that was the first part concave mirrors are used as shaving mirrors first use concave mirrors are used as shaving mirrors next one concave mirrors sorry uh, dentist used concave mirrors dentist use concave mirrors dentists use concave mirrors to see the interior side of the teeth in buccal cavity to see the interior side of the teeth in buccal cavity to see the interior side of teeth in buccal cavity okay the next thing there's one more right one more use of concave mirrors if you can remember now if you like uh, now have you ever and you should have seen the torches and even the headlamps of your vehicles right uh, they have the capability of projecting light uh, far away right so when you just take a bulb when you just take a bulb normal ordinary bulb let's say and when you glow it what would happen it would spread the light into all directions it cannot focus the light into a forward direction right so if you are using a torch or if you are using a if you are talking about a headlamp of a vehicle now lighting up in the near sir, near entire area would not help in you because like if you switch on a torch uh, in a dark room your entire area around the bulb is enlightened not the not the front places not the not the steps ahead of you so then you should step ahead without seeing what's on the ground so what should a torch do it should be projecting light forward so basically for, to do that in uh, torches and in vehicles they actually use a concave mirror they actually use a concave mirror so what would happen to these light rays these light rays would get uh, incident on the concave mirror and gets reflected forward these light rays would get incident on the concave mirror surface and would get uh, reflected forward as a uh parallel light beam actually parallel light beam so this is uh, what basically needed in uh, this is what basically needed in a uh, uh, vehicle uh, headlamps and even in torches right so this is uh, actually a, a, a reflector right so in vehicles and in torches in vehicle headlamps and in vehicle in vehicle headlamps and torches concave mirrors are used as reflectors right so write a point i want you to do this diagram as well uh right uh, do this diagram somewhere over here very quickly yeah maybe here okay uh, right like this concave mirrors are used concave mirrors are used as reflectors in torches and vehicle headlamps concave mirrors are used as reflectors in vehicle headlamps and torches right you can quickly draw this diagram concave mirrors are used in vehicle headlamps and uh, torches as reflectors